played this uh, wonderful little game that I like. It's called Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts The Demo. Let's go ahead and try this out. Hey, so I'm taking a break from uh, doing the Let's Play Super Mario World Let's Play, so uh, I decided to show you guys this demo of the new game Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Because uh, I know that not all of you got to download it because uh, not all of you have a gold membership for Xbox Live. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to play through this game because I've been playing it the past few days. This is just a demo, and I've been playing this game nonstop. Oh, hi, Banjo. What's up? Oh, that's a neat little logo sign. Logo intro. And here it is, title screen. So in the background, that's Banjo Land, and we're about to, we're going to go through that. I'm going to show you uh, everything there is in this demo. Well, maybe not everything, but uh, let me show you. This is the main menu. All right, so you got single player, multiplayer. You can even play multiplayer with your friends over Xbox Live in the demo. You got the control settings, display settings, audio settings, and quit demo, which we don't want to do. All right, let's head into the single player, the moment you've all been waiting for. Seven years of waiting. A year playing Banjo Tooie, seven years waiting for nuts and bolts. So that guy right there, that's Log. We're about to meet him up. I mean, meet up with him. Oh, that music doesn't sound good. Holy shit! Ah! Holy shit, we're gonna die! Ah! Ow, that looked painful. Pigs wearing hula skirts. We got Banjo. We got stuff to do. We got to play a brand new 3D HD game. Oh, sorry, Pybot. I can't play right now. I'm making a video. Ah, that looked very painful. Let's begin, shall we? This charming locale is known as Showdown Town. Perched up there is my splendid video game factory. While exploring through the town, find notes to open doors. Come on, Kazooie. Jiggies are awesome. And sorry if you can't read the text. The text is actually pretty small in this game. A lot of people online I've seen have been complaining about uh, how small the text is. I guess that's if you're not using uh, an HD TV. But if you're using an HD TV, then the text is just fine. Yeah, what happened to Grunty? Holy crap. She has a new body. And those are her goons. Those are the bad guys. She has to prevent us from getting back to Spiral Mountain. Yeah, come on, how do we play when we don't have our abilities? And... A wrench. Cool. Kazooie doesn't seem to like the wrench as much as uh, her old moves. It's a magic wrench. So, Birdman gets a brand new wrench. What do you have for this lovely wench? It's a cat. That cat's name is Piddles. Sheesh, that's an that's animal cruelty right there. They're just laughing. Hate those Grimbots. Piddles isn't gonna like that. Ah! All right, all right. Time to play. So. Alright, so these are the controls you can use. Uh, the controls work fairly well. Uh, uh, the the way you move is different from the past Banjo-Kazooie games, but you get used to it after a little while. So in order to pick up objects, you hold down the right trigger. You can just move. You just have to keep the right trigger held down. You can jump with it and do a lot of stuff. You can, e you can even swim and like jump off high cliffs and you'll still be holding it. So that's Mumble right there. What we have to do... We gotta put it in this pink zone, then we talk to Mumbo. Mumbo open crates for... Crap, I can't read the text. I'm playing this on my computer right now, so... It's hard for me to read this text. Anyways, he's just saying he wants us to, uh... Go in there. Oh, and these are the vehicle parts that were in the... Uh, crate we just put in there. Verifying lots of Mumbo crates around town. All crates contain different parts. Yeah, there are several parts. You can't get to there in this demo, but uh, 
in the full game you can. Now come with Mumbo into... Huh. Kinda weird our logo is just flies across the screen every uh, loading screen. You know, let's just skip this. This is this is basically just the workshop. You can do stuff. Let's just quit the tutorial. Get straight to the main game. Not that the building is not fun. The, the building is definitely fun. Reading these tips is usually quite helpful. As you can see, this one is the exception. Sorry about that. Typical rare humor. I love it. Ecom Bokum. Wow, and this he actually states that he says Ecom Bokum. Alright, so when a vehicle or anything is upside down, you just pick it up. Hold down the left trigger and voila. Alright, let's drive. I remember when I first played this demo, the driving felt kind of, uh, I didn't really like the driving at first, but when I got used to it and, uh, like when I started to remember, like, what the characters were like and I started to realize how much this really is a banjo game, even though it has driving in it, uh, I really began to like the driving, and plus the controls got a little bit easier over time. You just gotta get used to it. And there's a grunty right there. That's quite enough messing around. Now, use the trolley around the bottom of my. Hmm. All right, so we gotta go meet him up there at a uh, where his tower is by going up there. And as you can see, there are plenty of musical notes around the ground. All right, let's go and crush some penguins and pigs as well. Haha. -ha. Whoa. Ah, I'm a terrorist. I'm a suicide driver. Ah, die. So yeah, at first when you play this game, the driving, you kind of feel like, eh, this is hard to control. But after like, uh, I don't know, the learning curve for the driving is probably about, um, I don't know, probably at least 15, 20 minutes. After that, you get used to it. Oh, what's that? So the thing about Showdown Town is, in this place you have to collect the vehicle parts by finding these crates and bringing them to Mumbo. And then, uh, after you get the, plenty of the vehicle parts, then you can build more vehicles to play in the, the Challenge Worlds, which is, uh, which I'll show you soon, next video. Not this video, sadly. Let's just show this, uh, one here to Mumbo. The best thing to do is, if you're playing the demo, is to go through Showdown Town, find all of the crates, and then, uh, that's when you should go into the challenge world because then you can use as many vehicle parts as you can because if you go in there with only a few vehicle parts then it's harder Mumbo's still pretty retarded in this game alright I'll worry about the vehicle parts later for now I'm just gonna go up and uh, talk to Log in fact I think I'll get all the the vehicle parts off screen I'll get most of them off screen so then uh, I won't spoil too much the goal of the uh, this let's play of the demo here I'm doing is to basically show you what you do in the demo but not spoil too much because there are plenty of secrets in the demo even though it's just the demo there's still a lot you can do I mean if this is just the demo imagine how great the games are gonna be you'll see you just kind of gotta play the game to experience it and experience how fun it is one problem though no matter how many times I try I can't get over to this tower I think what you have to do is you have to bring a bunch of crates over and uh, then jump on the crates to get over there, but I've tried that and it just doesn't work. Well, I don't know. It might work. I haven't gotten it to work. There are also some glitches in the demo. Look them up on YouTube. There's a really cool glitch demo. A glitch, you can, glitch you can find in the demo. And you use it around here. I'll just give you that hint. I've used the glitch and it's pretty cool. And let's just talk to Log. Hey, what's up? I like Log. He's a cool character. He feels like a good Banjo-Kazooie character. Very well. Now listen, these are the Game Globes. They become available when you bring enough Jiggies. Playing a game, place a Game Globe on its plinth, you'll unlock one of the fabulous Game Worlds of my creation. Be careful not to let the Game Globe dispense. Alright, never mind. Alright, let's just go get that Game Globe. Alright, we're actually running out of time. Wow, time's flying. Alright, well, next time on Let's Play uh, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts the demo, uh, we explore through Showdown Town a bit more, and uh, we just might enter Banjo Land.